Well, a team of volunteers is coming together today to search for the remains of Harmony Montgomery. Harmony's father, Adam, is in the first year of a more than 50 year prison sentence for her murder. Her mother has been posting online asking for help in the search to bring Harmony home. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Saugus where volunteers are giving their Saturday to a family trying to get closure. Hey Beth. Well, these volunteers said they feel compelled to help to finally bring Harmony home. Investigators have been trying to pinpoint where her remains might be based on her father's movements they've been able to track. But that is many, many miles, including this reservation. So guys, let's get in the line. Volunteers fanning out through growth and brush. In the Rumney Marsh Reservation on the Revere Saugus Line, compelled by one mission to find a little girl they never personally knew. It was a story that that really uh, had an impact on me when I when I heard about it initially, um, and the fact that there's still a little girl's body who hasn't been returned to a, her mother. I just want to help bring Harmony home, you know, so she can get a proper burial. The search has been organized by her mother, Crystal Sori, who says intuition has brought her here, and it's not the first time she's called for help. This area has been in my dreams, so I'm just trying to go with my intuition, um, really, because that's more powerful than anything, I think. Harmony's father, Adam Montgomery, was convicted of her murder back in February. The little girl was reported missing in 2021, but authorities believe he killed her nearly two years earlier and disposed of her remains. A U-Haul truck they say he rented was pinged on the Tobin Bridge at one point, and Montgomery is from Revere. He's refused to say where the remains are. That's the only power he has left. You know, it's the only... That's the one piece of control he still has left in his life. So why, why would he give it up? But this mother and these volunteers refuse to give up. To mock anything would be something that you think would be helpful, you know, any type of evidence. Using pink markers for anything that catches their attention. While investigators are not involved today, they have also searched these marshy areas without success. It's time to bring her home. It's been too long. And volunteers say that is what motivates them today. If it was my kid, I would want everybody out here looking, you know, and you would think that other people would too. And you can see how thick with brush and deep woods this area is. That makes it very challenging. Crystal Sori says she is grateful for all the volunteers who came out. She plans to organize more searches until the weather turns cold. Reporting live from Saugus, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.